host at large. I am the Vagrant Trombone, here to talk to you today about what I thought was going to be a video about slide crooks, but instead it ended up being something different because as I was teaching a student today, they saw my little alto trombone sitting behind me on a stand and uh, they asked me, is it easier to play high on an alto trombone than it is on a regular trombone? Is it easier to play high on the alto trombone than it is on a regular trombone? And the answer, of course, is yes and no. Let me explain. <laughs> The alto trombone is smaller. It's a fourth higher than my regular tenor trombone. It is in the key of E flat. Now, I use the same mouthpiece on my alto as I do on my small bore box 16 tenor trombone, and I can go all the way up to an E flat, and it seems pretty easy. But there's a bit of a deception in that. This instrument is designed to play up in that register. It has a comfort level that is easier to play in that register than is a longer instrument. But the buzz still originates here. The buzz at my lips is the same buzz that I would use for that note on any instrument. I can take my tenor trombone, my bass trombone, so it's the same buzz to play that high E flat on the bass trombone as it is on the small bore tenor trombone. buzz is the same. So, is it easier? Well, athletically, physically, it's the same buzz. But there are things that make it seem more comfortable to play in that high register. Because this instrument is shorter, when I play a high E flat on this, as opposed to a tenor and bass or tuba, uh, that same that same note, It's more comfortable because on this instrument, when I play that high E flat, I'm only playing on the eighth partial of the instrument. And once you get above like the tenth partial, the eleventh partial, all the notes become kind of the same. It doesn't matter what position you're in. But there are places where the note will sit a little better. It will be a little easier to hit. It has, uh, it has a slot, as they say. So we'll feel like it slots better. Because on, on a larger instrument, there's no really good slot when you get above the 11th or 12th partial. Whereas on the alto trombone, I'm playing on the 8th partial when I play that same high E flat. So... Uh, it's kind of like a comfortable chair. If you if you had to take a long trip, say on a bus, and of like 500 miles, by the t if the by the time you got there, if your chair wasn't comfortable, you'd be kind of achy and not feeling too good. You might be a little beat up or bruised even. But if you have a comfortable chair, you're just sitting there lounging comfortably and just watching the world go by. Well. When it's comfortable, like on the alto, it's like that comfortable chair. If I have to play a bunch of high E flats, and I'm playing them on this, it's not so bad. If I have to play a bunch of high E flats on the regular tenor, I may feel a little more beat up and bruised. I may not have as much endurance because of getting beat up and bruised, because it's going to wear me out. The comfort level. What I did discover is by practicing high notes on my alto trombone, where they slot better, I gained more comfort, which in turn gave me more confidence to be able to hit those notes when I was playing on a small, or on a longer 
bigger instrument. And by that, it made my high notes better, but not because it it's easier. It Not because physically it's easier. It's because it's more comfortable in turn, which makes it easier. Now, why can't I play that high on tuba all the time or bass trombone? Why is it the trumpet mouthpieces are so much smaller? Well, it has to do with the surface area of the of your face, the musculature of your embouchure. If I have to play that note, it's going to sound kind of scrapy and scrubbly and scrappy because you have to remember that note on this instrument, that's probably like the 24th partial, and it'll wear you out. It'll wear you out pretty quick. But the reason why is because it takes more area, more muscle development, to play that high note with the bigger mouthpiece. That's why I like to compare my alto trombone with my regular small bore tenor trombone, which is not in here right now. I probably should have gotten that. It's my 40, the 42 has a 5G in it. That's why, that's why it probably doesn't sound that good. <laughs> But, but I can hit it, and it feels like it takes about the same amount of effort. It's just the comfort. That's why it wiggles a little bit. And because of the larger rim size, the slightly larger diameter, it takes a little more musculature to be able to power through those notes way up high. And in turn, it wears me out faster. But as far as the ease of hitting the note, I can hit the note as easily on any instrument, pretty much, because the buzz is where the sound originates. It has nothing to do with the length of the instrument. It has everything to do with your ability to buzz that note on that given rim size. So if I try to free buzz that note, I can't buzz an octave higher. I do know trumpet players who can, but it's because they've developed different sets of muscles to be able to play on a trumpet. So, is it easier to play high on the alto trombone than it is on the tenor trombone? The answer is yes and no. Because it's more comfortable, it seems more effortless because the notes have more defined slots. But if you don't have the physicality to be able to play in that register, your register will not be any larger than it is on your regular trombone. So, I just thought you might find that interesting, and I don't know, we're in lockdown. It seems like, uh, again, they said it was going to be two weeks originally, and here we are where they're saying it's going to be two weeks. And man, 2020, the longest two weeks of your life. See you later.